Howdy everybody, Tucson Piper here. And today, I'm going to show you guys the five pipes that I uh, restored for Mel, or also known as Garbage Man Piper. So to start this one off, I'm going to show you this guy. This is a Westbrook by Dr. Graybo. When I got this thing, it had some chatter marks on the stem, typical. It's a vulcanite stem. Uh, anyways, chatter marks, and it was just you know in need of a cleanup. So I removed the chatter marks, and to do that, I use a series of jeweler's files and then emery cloth, and that typically takes care of it, and then I polish it up on my buffers. So there's that, and then the body, I, just, I did a full cleaning, and uh, then polished it up, and that's that. I really like the way that the grain looks on this. It, it took the stain from the factory in a very interesting way. And it's just, it's just a neat pipe. Uh, hope that Mel enjoys it. I cleaned the stinger. It's corroded a little bit. I wasn't going to start sanding on it. Uh, from what he told me, he's not really that into stingers in the first place. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But that is all cleaned. And there's that pipe for you. Next up is the Sparkproof Mastercraft. Same type of deal. Um, simple chatter marks. Did the same technique to get rid of them. And the only sacrifice that we had to make here was the fact that this used to have a silver background in this uh, MC that's embossed. And now it doesn't because uh, the buffer took it off. And those are the little sacrifices that you have to make in order to properly buff out uh, vulcanite stems or stems of any kind that have paint on them. If I was just trying to do a corrosion removal or oxidization removal on the vulcanite, uh, you, you could soak it in bleach or use OxiClean or whatever. But I don't like to do that because not only does it eat away at the outside of the stem, but it also eats away at the inside of the stem. And I just don't necessarily want to go through that. But Anyways, gave the pipe a good cleaning, and then same thing, nice polish, and this one's ready to go. Next up, we have this pipe from, I believe, Denmark. Um, this one had super deep chatter marks. It looked like the guy only clenched when he was smoking this thing. So I had to spend quite a bit of time sanding out all of those guys filing them out and then making the uh, the button look nice and symmetrical, which it came out beautifully. So I'm very happy about that. Um, the sterling silver ferrule is all polished up, looking really nice. Uh, it's got oils from my hand on it. Uh, let's see if I can just clean that up a little bit. There you go. So yeah, same type of thing, fully cleaned. This one takes a nine millimeter filter so Mel should enjoy smoking that guy a little pocket pipe for you and uh, yeah this thing's ready to go nice and cleaned up now these next two I actually had to do full stem replacements I didn't snap anything and I didn't even have to re-dye them because I've worked on a brand new technique and uh, it involves packing tape and just taking a long time to sneak up on the proper size stem and not trying to force anything. So we'll start off with the Savinelli. So this is his Savinelli 1025 and its original stem looked like that. As you can see it's got a big old chingadera taken out of it there. I don't even know how that happens. If somebody can tell me if that's happened to one of your pipes, please let me know how that occurred. Like, was it just like some serious clenching? Like, did you have your pipe in your mouth while you were driving and somebody cut you off and you had to slam on your uh, brakes and clench your teeth and you bit off a Dorito chip worth a vulcanite stem? Like, please explain how that happens. Anyways, so that was the original stem. It was in really bad condition. Um, so it had to be replaced. So now he has a brand new vulcanite stem nicely polished up. There's still a little bit of residual wax on it. I'll wipe it off, but full cleaning treatment. 
I didn't go too crazy on removing everything down to the wood because I realized that a lot of it's just char and I'm not gonna like gut this thing. It has a lot of meat on it still. It's a gorgeous pipe. I didn't have to, I didn't touch any of the rustication. The transition onto the stem is absolutely perfect. There are no gaps in between the stem and the shank. And yeah, like I said, the rustication is perfect still and I didn't have to re-dye anything. So this pipe is absolutely gorgeous and ready to go back to Mel. And last but not least for today is a long champ. This one is the leather pipe. I'm, I'm guessing this is pigskin. Um, I, I did a, a cleanup on it. I used saddle soap and a horsehair brush. Cleaned it all nice. Uh, it, it has like some profound staining on it like right there there's a black blotch nothing I can do to get rid of that um, so yeah I did the best I could with that um, there's some there's some beauty marks on it from the previous owner but clean it up real nice and then I used Venetian shoe cream which is my absolute favorite leather conditioner to uh, condition it and then I buffed it up a little bit with a horsehair brush the bowl is the same thing. It only has char in it now. There's actually there's no cake, and as you can see, I replaced the stem, uh, performed a nice little bend on it, and now it's not as extreme of a bend as what came off. Uh, that's about it. So we're about maybe a degree and a half, two degrees different from the original stem. I don't think it's really going to matter. It, it's a very comfortable pipe. If Mel wants to bend it more, I'm sure the man has a heat gun and he can bend it a little bit more himself. I didn't, I didn't want to put a super extreme bend on it personally, but uh, it it does have a bend. And yeah, I'm thinking about maybe picking me up with something like this. I, it feels really nice in the hand when you're smoking. So, anyways. That's the last pipe for today. I will post photos of before the restoration so that you guys can see what I started working with. And as always, it's Tucson Piper. Thanks for watching. Until next time.